Hey everyone, this is Ben with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this anatomy lesson, I'm going to demonstrate elevation and depression, which are special body movement terms that describe motion going in either an inferior or superior direction. Elevation refers to the movement of a body part in a superior direction or moving upward. Whenever you walk into a hotel lobby, you have to get on the elevator to go up, right? And we'd also say that a mountain has a really high peak elevation. Therefore, the term elevation is pretty self-explanatory. It has a structure moving up or superiorly. In contrast, depression refers to the movement of a body part going downward or in an inferior direction. When you are depressed, you feel down in the dumps, right? Therefore, it's easy to remember that depression has a body part moving downward or inferiorly. In anatomy, elevation and depression most commonly describe movement of the mandible or the scapulae within the frontal plane. And when you move your mandible in a downward direction, depression occurs. And when you move your mandible upward, elevation occurs. Similarly, when you move your scapulae up, elevation of the shoulder girdle occurs and when you move them back down depression of the shoulder girdle occurs like other body movement terms healthcare professionals such as nurses will refer to elevation and depression when documenting or assessing patients for example in nurse sarah's head to toe assessment video she applies resistance to my mandible and asks me to open my mouth which is an example of depression as part of her assessment of cranial nerve 5 the trigeminal nerve that innervates the muscles responsible for elevation and depression of the mandible okay that wraps up this quick anatomy review over elevation and depression body movement terms. Now we have a free quiz that you can take in the description below. Also, we have a whole playlist of anatomy videos that you might want to check out. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.